Hello, everyone, and welcome to What's Up Inland Empire. I'm Jessica Q, your host, and What's Up Inland Empire podcast is all about bringing you guys local leaders, resources, and getting to meet the people making a difference in our community, in the Inland Empire. And today, I've got Beverly Noor, the executive director of the Redlands Bowl. So, Good morning and Good morning. welcome. I love your energy. <laughs> Thank you. Good so morning, much. energy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so let's talk about you know the Redlands Bowl. Mm-hmm. The Redlands Bowl has actually been around for a long time. Let's talk a about the hundred history. Years, a hundred years. We've a hundred years. We this just, year, uh, yeah, we celebrated our hundredth season this past uh, summer. And so the Redlands Bowl was founded in 1923 by Grace Stewart Mullen, and she was a Tennessee transplant to Redlands, California. And she was very good friends with Artie Mason Carter, who was the founder of the Hollywood Bowl. And so very often we're kind of referred to as the baby bowl because they were great friends. So there's a great lovey. It's like the mini me. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. But so the Redlands Bowl, Grace wanted something in Redlands and something for the Inland Empire that was like the Hollywood Bowl in that it would bring world-class performing arts, but she wanted it to be free to the public because at that time in 1923, um, society was very stratified. So you wouldn't have people that, uh, people couldn't afford concert hall admission. So the only people going to nice concerts were people who were very wealthy. Wow. And so she wanted something in our region for everyone so that everybody can come. So we often say we're multi-generational, that we're, uh, that we're G-rated and proud of it. You know, you can bring, <laughs> everybody can come to the bowl and everyone is welcome. It's definitely a yeah. family, you know, yes. environment, family yeah. entertainment. And so if you guys haven't heard of the Redlands Bowl. So they where you been? Yeah, I know exactly (laughs) right. Like it's time to go check it out. But they're putting on free concerts Mm -hmm. throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, so a hundred years of providing free concerts to the Inland Empire. Inland Empire. Amazing. Every summer, Tuesday and Friday nights, uh beginning in the end of June and we go through late August. Okay. And Tuesday and Friday nights and some select Saturdays and even Sundays for our musical. So we are we bring over a hundred thousand people uh to the region and um wow. about 20 percent. since you're in riverside i'll let you know this about 20 percent comes from riverside county nice. and, <laughs> and the majority come from san Bernardino county and then we have about five percent that's greater tourism in los angeles county wow. and so we have people from all over and uh, we have a nice uh international contingent that participates so we're very very blessed um when you come to the bowl you feel It's like no other place. Uh, We have a secret sauce. I can't even tell you what it is. But we're donor supported, completely supported by the people and by our corporate uh, partnerships. And so um, we ask people, we take a free will donation at intermission and we pass buckets just like you would at church. And we ask people to give what they can. So the idea is that if you come and you you have a little to give, that you give so someone that can't give can participate. And so I think it's that great foundational giving that really speaks to the heart of people and they love the bowl and they want to keep it going for that reason. They want it around for everyone. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. You're providing, you know, arts mm-hmm. for free. Yeah. And, you know, I know, and especially nowadays, oh my yeah. gosh, have you seen how much concert tickets are? Yes. Oh my gosh. It's insane. Painful. I just paid for Aerosmith tickets. I oh know. no. Well, okay. Wait, how much did you <laughs> oh, pay? No, no, I'm not or you don't say. even want to, you're like, yeah, oh, my, like my husband take doesn't, out no, I don't know. On the house. <laughs> you know. No, they're, they are very expensive. Yeah. And that, that was always the goal of Grace Stewart Mullen is to make it available for everyone. And so a lot of folks, people uh, will come and they'll say, oh, um, are these local programs? Are they, you know, they're not. They're world-class performing arts. So Okay, yeah, let's most, talk about the, the artists. Yes. Yeah. So, so our artists... You're bringing in world class. So let's let's talk all about over them. the world. They come mm-hmm. from all over the world. And th- this past season, as an example, almost every artist that we had was a Grammy award winner or a Grammy nominee. So wow. um, it's a kind of thing where uh, we have certain filters in our programming that establish that high end performing arts center um, menu of of events. And our artists have to have played on the great stages of the world. 
they have to uh, they have to be award winning in some way. Mm-hmm. We have certain parameters set in. Um, so when we look at an artist, they they kind of go through that filtering system, and that ensures our our quality for the for the public. Yes, and yeah. uh, how long are the shows? So if somebody were to come, you said they're, they're on Tuesdays and Thursdays during the summer. Tuesdays and Fridays. Fridays. I'm sorry, Tuesdays and Fridays. And they start at eight p.m. and they we try to wrap up around ten. Sometimes it can go to about ten thirty, but we have um, a first act and a second act and an intermission. And you know what? I'm gonna I want to put up like a picture right now of the Redlands Bowl. So hopefully mm-hmm. it's up right now. And okay. <laughs> hopefully the fireworks beautiful. Yeah. And then um, so let's talk about the setup. So mm-hmm. when you come out, if you want to participate, come out. So it's free. Uh-huh. Of course, donations are welcome. Yes. Um, but you do you have uh, tables, chairs? How does that work? So we have um, a, a it's an amphitheater. So there's a lot of bench seating, and it's interesting because if you go to concerts at other places, people uh, typically get the lawn or sort of the cheap seats, sort of the idea. But but people really love the lawn, and they come to that first typically, uh. and then the seats fill in. But we have you know on, on any given night between five and seven thousand people, five you, to seven thousand yeah, people. Yeah. So wow. when we say we're the baby bowl, <laughs> is it really a baby it's bowl? Really not a baby bowl. It's a big bowl. <laughs> yeah. And when you look at our beautiful Priscellus, our Priscellus is is our stage, and that was donated also to. Um, to us in uh, by Florence and Clarence White. Okay. Um, and so that beautiful facility has become an iconic structure in the Inland Empire that people know of. And they, they think the bowl is just sort of signature to this area. And um, so when you come in the summer, you can bring a picnic basket. We allow food. We allow, you know, to bring in your own your own things. But we do have some things for sale on um on the premises also. And is that, um, is that through the Redlands Bowl? So you guys can actually make some yes. extra money. Yes. Okay. We actually have a partnership with the Optimist Club of Redlands. They've been with us for many, many years. We don't, we're not, um, we, we don't do a lot of vendors. We have basically the Optimist Club and our, and our organization that sell items. And the reason for that is Grace always wanted it to be a concert hall atmosphere. Okay. So we're not Coachella. We're not, you know, there's not vendors everywhere, but that's yeah. okay. That's, that's what we do. We, we get the music is always the music and the community are always the emphasis. Let's talk about uh, this past summer. Who was mm. the, your most favorite artist that came out or oh, performance that my gosh, I'm sure they're all great. They're like, all great. Is there one and that should, stood out? Yeah. I should speak a little bit about this, the template of what we do. We're anchored in classical music always. So, okay. um, you know, there are not a lot of places you can see classical music free of admission charge. So we always begin with an orchestra and end with an orchestra and we have um, classical performances in between. So we absolutely um, have that as a priority. Okay. But um, this summer, that we're also multidisciplinary. So outside of those anchored performances, we have a big, diverse um, menu of culturally diverse programming. And, um, and then we have wonderful tribute shows. So this summer we had um, Step Crew was here. Um, we had um, the Mariachi Divas. Do you know them? Oh, They're no. the, the official up. Mariachi of... Um, Disneyland. Oh, cool. And so they at the Disney Resort. So they've been with us a few times and they're just a huge crowd pleaser. So they were wonderful to have. And then we had Frankie Avalon. We had um, oh, nice. people like that. So it, they're, they're just a good variety. Yeah. So there's, we have, uh, yeah, we had a wonderful um, um, Diego Figueredo and Chichito Valdez, who's of the Cuban um, Valdez piano dynasty, oh, nice. uh, was one of our. Uh, one of my favorite program, the spinners were here. So we have a, a very diverse um, mix offerings of art, to yeah. people. Yeah. It's like a little bit of yeah, something of for everybody. Yes. yes. So we're going to go take a quick commercial break okay. and we'll be right back. Do you need help reaching more customers? At NB Media, we're a full service advertising agency offering social media marketing, Hulu, Spotify, billboards, photo shoots, radio, TV, and websites. To see what else we offer, visit www.nb.media or call 951 777 1947. Thank you so much to our sponsor. And we are back with Beverly from the Redlands Bowl. We're talking the Redlands Bowl. I mean, free music for the community for the past 100 years. That is so amazing. (laughs) And yeah, so like, tell me, tell me more. Like, you know, obviously, if you're providing free Mm -hmm. music, Mm -hmm. 
artists aren't free. No. Keeping that place up isn't free. No. So you get, you have sponsors, donations coming yes. in. Let's, you know what, let's plug some of these sponsors that make it, you know, <laughs> available there, to the there community. There are so many, I, I, I would hate to, to say, single anybody <laughs> out, but let me just say in an overall position that we have individuals and families who give every year. And then we have wonderful corporate partnerships. So um, many businesses in the community, we write a number of grants, but our budget is about $1.4 million every year that has to be raised. So if you think about it, you know, we always say we're free of admission charge, but we're really not free. So some people will say, oh, the artists, do they just give their time? Well, no, 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 they still (laughs) want to get paid. Yeah, they need to eat too. So, and we respect artists. We believe in what they provide to humanity. And, um, so we, we definitely, um, pay our artist. And so we have a significant budget to raise every year. 1.4. And, you know, it's the generosity of our people. Uh, They believe in what we do and they're behind it 100% and they give generously and we count on that. And if they didn't, we wouldn't exist. I mean, we don't receive any other, uh, we'll get occasional grants that are Mm -hmm. federal, uh, say from the NEA. But other than that, we are, we exist on, on the generosity of the public. Wow, and I should say, um, in addition to what we do with the young with um, the Redlands Bowl Summer Music Festival, we have our young artist competition, concerto competition. This is a uh, it's been going on since the 1950s. It's one of the most generous scholarship programs in the state of California, and so these aspiring young classical musicians will uh, perform and compete for scholarships and then a chance to perform at the Redlands Bowl. So it's a wonderful, wonderful program that's been going on many years. And we've actually launched the careers of, of um, several people. We have one of our young artists finalists. Um, it was just at the LA Opera. Um, really? So it's, it's a what beautiful, an amazing experience oh, yeah. as well. And- it's, it's beautiful to see a career launch like that and see it start at the bowl because the bowl is a very special place. And then in addition to that, we have, we serve over 35,000 youth in our region with uh, free music education programs. So arts oh. workshops, uh, assemblies in schools. We have partnerships with other nonprofits that we come in and do the performing arts component to their curriculum. So we, we believe in the arts. We believe in the life cycle of participation and removing barriers to participation. So I'll just challenge you, Jessica, when you were little, can you remember the first time you ever saw something live, like a program? Uh, What do you remember about the arts? Do you remember something coming to your school or? um... Wow. Um, You know, I do remember having a music class, Uh (laughs) taking a music class. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed that. And that Um, was at school. At school, yes. Okay, so, so if you if you ask the average person, I, I would just, as you go out this week, just ask a few people, do you remember the first time you ever saw a musical program of some sort or saw someone playing the guitar or whatever that was? Very often, I would say most often, they will remember it. Yeah. And so that's why we start at that young age. We want to instill in kids um, a lifelong love of music. And we, we see that happening and it's beautiful to see that in our little ones. They just light up. And so many of them um, are so used to watching TV or the computer screens, but we give them a fresh experience of live performing arts. Yeah, it's pull really them away beautiful. from those tablets. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. That's so amazing. Now let's uh, touch on, you know, uh, the uh, fundraising. Mm-hmm. Now, if um, do you t- do you accept volunteers? Like, how can people get involved and help out? Yep. So we have over a thousand volunteers that help execute the festival every year, and so we have um, we have a number of of existing volunteer groups. Our red shirt ushers who come out in the heat and they're there from when it starts to when it ends and they're helping they're ambassadors for the bowl they tell people you know where to sit and and if they have any questions and they welcome them as they come and they also help us collect our donations at intermission so they're very important to us and very special to the bowl and the bowl's mission then we have our um associates of the redlands bowl and they're a fundraising um friends of group and uh they're hardworking 
women who come together every year, they work all year round, and they raise about 12 to 15 percent of the budget. Wow. And so they have a gala every year that's spectacular. And um, so we, we really love our associates. That's and, um, amazing. And then outside of that, we have a wonderful board of directors um, who govern the ball and um, are instrumental to, you know, ensuring that it goes on year after year. And then we have our community service groups that come out every single year to usher and they go out into the crowd and collect donations at intermission. And those folks really help us to bring in the money that's so foundational to what we need at the bowl. So it's a thousand, thousand people. Wow. Yeah. So if somebody wants to donate, how can they donate? You can always call me. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but, uh, the, yeah, we have sponsorships of programming and um, things like that. So they can call me and we can talk through what, what they might like to do. How they'd like to um, be a part. How they'd like to be a part okay. of it. Yeah. Uh, other than that, they can go to our website at redlandsbowl.org and they can give a donation that way. Okay. Um, and we would love to have you. You know, the thing thing about the bowl, the, the giving is foundation. The participation is foundational to what we do. And when people come and they um, become a part of the bowl family, they don't leave. We're, we're a lifelong sentence. Yes. <laughs> you know, come and join in, us you're forever. Never out. That's right. <laughs> you know, they come I, many times, little children will see us at a assembly and they'll get their parents to bring them to the bowl. And then their parents start volunteering. And it's a thing of where um, we, we just we just build this family that goes on year after year. And most of us give to the bowl because we want it around for our kids and grandkids. And we don't ever want this to go away. And a hundred years, a hundred years, a That's lot amazing. of venues out there, um, you know, that, that move on a subscription basis. It's, you know, we love the arts in every form, but there's something special about the people really investing themselves in it and their hearts into the bowl. And, and we see that year after year. It sounds like yeah. everybody's just a big family sticking Absolutely. together and 100%. keeping the place alive. I mm-hmm. love it. Yeah. So Grace was the original. Yeah. She came up with the idea mm-hmm. and she brought it to Redlands. Yeah. Thank goodness Grace for had her. that vision and I made know. it happen. We huh? were so blessed this summer because we had members of her family that came out. <gasps> they did. And she's, of course, long gone, but her grandson was here with his granddaughter so Aww. and his daughter. And so it was really lovely to have them back. And um, he, of course, remembers growing up, uh, spending summers out at the ball. So it was really fun to share that with him. And he was so honored that the work of his grandmother has continued. And that is because she has inspired so much of us. She really is. She's my personal hero hero. And I know the personal hero to so many others because she really saw that she had this belief that she had the saying that when people listen to great music together, man-made barriers disappear. Mm-hmm. And so she really believed that she could achieve universal brotherhood through music. And so she mm-hmm. dedicated her whole life to it. And um, I mean, Beautiful. she was coming to the bowl in a wheelchair at the very end. I mean, she was really, they would just wheel her in for, for performances. Was she a resident of she Redlands? Was, yeah. She mm-hmm. came out here from Tennessee um, as a young woman and raised her family here. And um, so she, she loved Redlands and um, was just completely sold out and dedicated to c- making sure the bowl continued. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful story. Mm-hmm. I love it. And it continues yeah. to make a difference in lives in Redlands, in the Inland Empire, to anybody, for anybody. Yes. That's so Come beautiful. be a part. That's what we ask. Yeah. So before we head out, mm-hmm. um, any last things you want to say and how can people get connected and learn more information yeah. about the Redlands Bowl? Yeah, so I would say come spend some time on our website and we'll begin our concerts at uh, the third week of June and 2024. Come get familiar with us and make it your bowl. Make and what is the bowl. website? Redlandsbowl.org. Redlandsbowl.org. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Well, thank yeah. you so Thanks, much, Jessica. Beverly, for coming so out. So fun. And you guys, thank you for joining in and sitting with us and learning about the Redlands Bowl. Make sure this upcoming summer to go check out their concerts. And if you have some extra money, you know, you can always donate too. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes, of course. Well, thank you again. Thank you, thank you guys. And we'll see you next time. Sounds good.